So you want to start your own actual play Dungeons and Dragons or tabletop role playing game podcast. We're going to talk about the first things you need to consider here today on the Techno Funk Boy. Well, hey, everybody, this is Paul with the Techno Funk Boy, and um, this is a series that we're starting. You're on the first episode of uh, of a series called Podcasting the Game. So if you are completely... If you are completely new to the genre of actual play podcast, this is um, uh, this is essentially when people will play in a, a tabletop role playing game like Dungeons and Dragons, Call of Cthulhu, or something like that, and and uh, record it and produce it into a podcast. And there's a lot of different approaches to that. And um, we're going to talk about just some considerations to do here. So the way I, um, I, I kind of, I've gotten involved in this was um, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm just an avid fan of this genre of podcast, but um, I am a player on the Dice and Dreary podcast, which which is a Dungeons and Dragons Curse of Strahd podcast, and I also do all the music for that game. Meanwhile, I'm also the uh, the the dungeon or the, or the game master for Tales from the Rusty Speeder, which is a Star Wars Edge of the Empire game, as well as the Order of Podcasters, which is an SO terrorist game. Um, the uh, uh, that one, uh, that one, if you're not familiar with it, is kind of a paranormal investigation to show. I like to compare it a little bit to the X Files. <clears throat> so those latter two, um, I, I I also edit and do music for. And so um, I, I suffice it to say, like a good chunk of my average week is in creating these types of shows. And um, and and so um, I. I, I've, I've, because I've spent so much time doing this stuff, I've, I've also spent a lot of time kind of thinking it out, listening to other pad- podcasts, figuring out what works and what really, really doesn't, and wanted to, you know, um, perhaps give you some ideas uh, uh, here on creating your own if, if that, if that is, uh, if that is something you're interested in doing. So, the first consideration. And I do really mean like this, this should be, uh, this should be, you know, way up there in your consideration is what you want this show to do. So one of the problems that a lot of people have in transitioning, like your just normal game into a podcast is understanding that your audience has inherently changed in this moment. So when I am the dungeon master uh, on a game with some friends, my audience is my players. And so whatever they're, whatever, whatever's happening that they're finding entertaining is a good thing. However, a lot of times that includes, you know, some, some inside jokes from when we were hanging out at the bar, you know, a few months ago or, um, or, or something like that, or, or just spending a lot of time on whatever the thing is that they really, really like doing. When I am doing an actual play podcast, my audience is no longer my players. My players are actually now part, uh, part of kind of part of the production team and the audience is the listener. That doesn't mean I'm going to, you know, just throw out any opinion that my players have. They are actually my first, uh, my, my kind of the first reactions I get to a story, to the way, uh, the way something went, you know, if, if, if they thought it was interesting, then there, then there probably is something there that other people would find interesting. But the point is now that I I am not producing a game for my friends. I, with my friends, am producing a show for other people. And what do I want that show to do? 
there's a lot of different a lot of different things to consider here. But there's some things that just might not work at all. You know, like when I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons at home with some friends, I might I might just crack open the book and go straight through like like a Curse of Strahd from first page to last, you know, uh, completely by the book and um, with uh, and just have, you know, kind of kind of your your basic average Curse of Strahd game, um, which would be an absolute blast. But I didn't, I'm, I didn't have to ask myself, though, why would people be tuning in? And that's the thing that I need to to feature, you know. And um, so a lot of the actual play podcast will end up doing uh, doing their own custom homebrew worlds or systems. And that is kind of the thing that gets featured in the show itself. That doesn't have to be it, but the world can be, it's like, look, we, I, we, I just really want to show off this world and the characters in it and that are, that are super cool. That could be the thing. It could be like the creativity of, of the, of the, the players and getting out of situations. They're like really, really good, um, uh, technical players or they're really, really good role players and they're really getting into, into their, uh, in, in, into their character and having just these incredible role playing scenes between themselves and you really get kind of connected to these people. Maybe it is something that's homebrew and we just have a fantastic story or, Maybe the goal here is to is to set um, is is to set you know may, perhaps a familiar f- adventure probably not familiar adventure um, into a production that is going to enhance people's enjoyment of it you know with 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 music and sound effects and 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 the like none none of these by the way are wrong. And, 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 and it's certainly not an exhaustive list, but this is something that you're going to need to decide upon fairly soon. If you, if you are do, if you are doing, you know, your podcast as, as just like this immersive technical experience of, of just fantastic audio production, with, with um you know that that's just you know sounds like like sounds like a great radio play with uh all, all these all these sound effects and music hitting at the right moment and st- and, and stuff like that um but don't start off with the equipment that you're going to need to get the kind of sound you want out of it it's going to be long term frustrating for you and probably for the audience as well um if uh, if you are, if you are really wanting to show off the role playing ability of your character, but you are in the middle of such a plot heavy, uh, plot heavy world that, you know, that the, the characters kind of get overshadowed by the, the overall plot that might not work. You know, one really good example of that is I'm I'm playing uh, I'm playing Dragonlance with uh and by the way, you know, if you, if you if you are new to this channel, I actually talk about Dragonlance a lot. I really like Dragonlance, but um uh I'm, I'm playing uh, my Dragonlance campaign with 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 some uh with some friends is you know, there are some long dungeons. There's some long dungeons in that in in that game. And um you know, that, that takes several sessions to get through. So if I split it up into podcast form, you know, it'd be just getting through Zach Sroth would be a lot of different, a lot of episodes. And there's not, there's not necessarily a ton of opportunity there to do, you know, like some really great, great role playing or anything like that. So if I am, if I know that's what I want to show off, it's like, man, I, the people in my game, they're really, really good at, uh, at, at, at like bringing the characters to the surface, I, I, I I'm, I'm going to rebalance that dungeon to be less combat and more, uh, m- more situations where where they're going to get to they're going to get to show that off, and the audience is going to be able to connect more with that. Um, and and so the type of show that I want to create is going to kind of dictate. 
the way I I approach not only the actual recording, but it should also approach. Uh, uh, it should also uh, dictate the approach of the game itself. Um, I've mentioned before on other videos, you know, like uh, that. Uh, I've I've run across podcasts that I've I've absolutely loved, but couldn't listen to anymore because um you know like there's one aspect of it or another that's just that's just killing it you know um that just killing the mood uh there's a um uh, I was listening to a, a, a really, a, a really, really good fourth edition podcast that I really, 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 really wanted to like so much because the characters were good in it. But the fourth edition battle system was, it's not conducive to that, you know, that, that sort of party, you know, and because, because a lot of these battles take so long to fight that. I'm not hearing the thing that I'm tuning in for. I'm hearing just an extended battle, which was not at all why I tuned in. And so in that sort of situation, when you know you have a fantastic cast and you know you have fantastic characters, it it, it might be worthwhile to, to, to switch out the system in order to kind of get the results you wanted. So in my own, in my own podcast, when we started Order of Podcasters, and the premise of the show is, I kind I wanted to get um uh get some uh some other podcasters on people that did uh did 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 uh true crime legal um uh, paranormal uh type of type shows together to create like uh, uh, um a paranormal investigation crime show. And the, the whole, the whole point of it was, was to be a little, um, uh, you know, to be a little playful, a little, a little fun, but to kind of, you know, get, get, get these podcasters out of, you know, like, like a, a very serious approach of, of, you know, of these topics that they're dealing with into a much more fun environment. That's still, that's still related, but to kind of show off their, um, <laughs> their humor, creativity, uh, in in ways that were, you know, they, they normally don't get to show off on their shows, and to also you know invite other other podcasters on uh, to, to kind of do the same thing to 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 get them in a different element so that their fans can hear them in 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 this in this different style and um, uh, just just to have some fun with it. It's so a in that. That led us to picking the esoteric system, which uses the 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 gumshoe uh, uh, system, which is it doesn't rely very much on combat or rolling, and it relies much 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 more heavily on role playing. And so, I wanted to show off these these people, these players more. And that brought us to the system that we're that we're using, and that is ultimately the point of of our of that particular show was to uh, what was was to show off the uh, is to show off the the the, the players um, themselves. Now, notice that doesn't like that doesn't negate like the need for a good story, and that doesn't negate the need for like you know a a, a working world and a working system and in actual problems and actual enemies and and all of the other stuff. That just gives me my focus. What am I trying to do here? And that also means that not every you know not every audience uh, uh is not a, every potential audience member is necessarily the right audience member for your show you are doing the show for a particular purpose and that means you're targeting a particular type of person in a lot of like um uh you know uh kind of audience building or or, or uh, uh techniques are going to have you think through what they call an avatar 
Uh, you know, they do this like in marketing and they also do this when, when trying to kind of pick your target audience is who is the person that you specifically are trying to reach? And, and to make it a person, not make it a group, but, you know, how old is this person? How, you know, what, 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 what is the family situation? Um, where, where is this person listening? Uh, to to the show what do they like about the show what are they wh- why are they listening to the show and if you have this avatar in mind this is actually going to give you the answers to you know it, uh, to a lot of a lot of decision making that you that you have to do on whether to you know whether to do this one thing or this other thing and you know the answer is going to be well you know what what does Bob my avatar want? out of the show. And that's going to be the answer because that is your audience. Um, now, you know, realistically with uh, pod, uh, pod, people who listen to podcasts ranging in the, I don't even know. I mean, I, I know it's millions. I don't know if it's tens or hundreds of millions, but there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Bob's out there. Your avatar is out there and, uh, and you're going to, you know, hit some kind of, uh, uh, it, it, neighboring groups as well, who you might not, you know, might not, uh, listen exactly in the same way as Bob, but close enough that they, that your show appeals to them. And so the, when, when you're, when you're thinking through your audience of one, you are thinking through a very large audience, but you know who you're going after. That, that is the thought process about, you know, about figuring out what is your show. And once you have that, then your other decisions are going to flow from that point. I will tell you right up front, when we, uh, when we started Tales from the Rusty Speeder, I was like half thinking that I was going to do this as a podcast. And so we did record it and half thinking that we weren't. And that, that, that probably was a mistake and it did not make our early episodes, our early adventures quite as precise as I wanted them. I I should have wanted them to be. And the, the show really got more focused as we went um, but that, uh, that, 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 that is something that, you know, I kind of took from that experience and knew that I needed to change for order of podcasters. And so we approached order of podcasters in a very, very different way. And, and I think, I think a much better way, but this is, uh, this is something that, um, that going forward, anything, any, any further show that I create and, um, uh, I keep, I keep being tempted. I don't, I don't have time. I don't, I don't have time. I don't have time for it, but I really, pod, you can totally get addicted to podcasting, by the way, just as a warning. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, going forward, if I were to create any, any, any new show, this is the approach that, that I, I would definitely take. And it would definitely be the, the approach that I, I would suggest for you. So, like I said earlier, this is the first part in this series about about creating like an actual play podcast. And um, if if this is something you are interested in, please do hit the um, uh, the subscribe button and uh, the the bell icon that's going to notify you of any uh, of, of further updates. Um, if you have if you have particular questions you want me to tackle along the way, throw them in the comments uh, below. And um, that uh, that that I ha- I have a lot of ideas on on kind of where where to go and what to uh, what to talk about here. But um, if uh, if there are any any particulars that I can help with, uh, let me know, and I definitely will if I can. Um, on this channel, we also talk about uh, about uh, video game music and Dungeons and Dragons quite a bit, particularly Dragonlance. Um, 
I've I've got uh, some series on Dragonlands where I'm um, uh, you know addressing a lot of the stuff on on how to how to play how to play Dragonlands, give some uh, dungeon master ideas on playing through some of the modules and that sort of thing, and um, I the, those have. Uh, those have been received really, really well. And so if, if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, please do check those out as well. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I, we will uh, we'll keep this one going and uh, let me know with any questions and we will catch you next time. Appreciate it.